Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today, we are talking about data engineers and data scientists. Watch this video till the end to learn the set of tools used by both of these experts. On our channel, we share our thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Why should we distinguish between data engineers and data scientists? Well, 87% of data science projects are never really executed, mainly due to the market's inability to distinguish between data scientists and engineers. These positions, however, are bound, and team members can step in and perform tasks that technically belong to the other role. Actually, your team composition largely depends on the size of your team. So everything we'll cover in this video obviously doesn't concern early stage startups and small companies. Let's review the areas of data engineer and data scientist. The goal of a data engineer is to create and collect data. Among the primary data engineering definitions, we name data pipelines, creating ways, pipelines, in which the data travels through the infrastructure, data modeling, creating conceptual data representations, and data wrangling, making sure that the data used in the infrastructure is valid and high quality. We have a detailed guide on ensuring data quality. Check out the link in the description box. So while data engineer is into coding and development, a data scientist helps to make sense of insights that were received by data engineers. They are involved in statistical analysis and improving algorithm models. So the main difference between data analysts and data scientists is technological expertise. Jelvik's team advises not to choose between data engineers and data scientists because those roles can't function well without the help of the other. Keep watching to get our list of tools used by each of them. But first, we will talk about the working process in data science and data engineering. Data engineers' responsibilities sometimes intersect with a typical backend developer or database manager. However, there are some differences, because they manage all kinds of complex data, provide analytics on data use, and set up high-quality standards. You can see a typical data pipeline example right now. Data scientist's task is to translate the problem to the mathematical language, find a solution, and convert it back to business-related interpretation. For the process, we group it into six steps, such as Framing the problem, defining what data is useful to solve the problem, processing the data, defining the high-level insights, performing in-depth analysis by using machine learning, automated frameworks and tools, and finalizing the results into actionable business values. Let's review the tools used by data engineers and data scientists. In a brief rundown of the data engineer's necessary software, we define database management systems such as MySQL, SQL Server, PostgreSQL, MongoDB, DocumentDB, and Cassandra, data processing and cluster computing tools such as Spark and Hadoop, and the most common programming languages used by data engineers are Python, C++, Java, and Scala. Among the most popular instruments data scientists use are instruments for managing large data volumes. We at Jelvix usually use Pandas. It's a great open source library for data science. Real-time processing tools such as Apache Storm, Apache Kafka, Amazon Kinesis, and others. Business intelligence instruments like Tableau, MicroStrategy, ClickView, and others allowing formatting data analysis and formulas, and scientific analysis and computation Python packages. Besides Pandas, we can also use NumPy, Matplotlib, and Scikit-Learn. So, the tool sets for data engineers and data scientists often overlap. But still, there are many differences. Generally, engineers are focused on instruments that set up ETL flows, meaning extract, transform, load flows, while data scientists often turn to statistical frameworks and packages. Well, and what about demand on data engineers and data scientists? The number of openings for data engineers is five times higher than for data scientists, because to get a data infrastructure running, you need many data engineers. Do you think it means data engineers is a better career choice? Drop a comment to tell us what you think. Finally, let us share our experience at Jelvix of organizing cooperation between data engineers and data scientists. 
Usually, our main priority is to ensure transparency of workflow and to synchronize data scientists and engineers with the entire team. A data scientist starts the sprint by understanding business requirements and moves further on with data preparation, modeling, and evaluation. They finish their part by passing the results to data engineers who perform coding, model evaluation and testing, scheduling, features monitoring, and finally, going into deployment. However, besides this, a data engineer is actively involved in data scientist activities, optimizing systems, developing the needed APIs, and more. So as you can see, both data engineers and data scientists are crucial for maintaining long-term and efficient data infrastructure. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We provide software development, UI UX design, and testing services to top brands worldwide. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share the experience of data science and engineering. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to like this video and press the bell button. Bye for now.